guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Today I got another special episode for you. I'm going out to the Saltville Ponds to fish for carp. It's one of my new favorite things to do. I really like carp fishing, but I'm meeting up with a really special person, uh, Shannon from LNS Outdoors. It's going to be meeting me up. If you'll remember, me and him did a collab about a year or two ago. He showed me how to do carp fishing. I was interested in it. I'd seen a lot of stuff on YouTube and it looked fun. Some people put it down, but a lot of people enjoyed it. I ended up trying it, caught a few, fell in love. It's an awesome experience. These fish really fight hard. It's super fun. So I've been kind of slowly investing into it, spending a little bit of money on gear and product, and I've been having fun with it. Uh, last year I went out and I fished Hungry Mother State Park. I caught a big 15 pounder with Little B, and she really enjoys it too. So we're going to be meeting up today for a special episode of collab but i want to show you the bait i'm making right now all right guys so here's what i got going hopefully my camera is not real shaky i'm having to try something different this time but i got some cornmeal this time a little bit different i normally use oatmeal someone told me to try that because the sweetness would help out i've got my normal panko don't matter what brand really i got some cheap stuff that was still around the house I've got my special storage container. I put about two cups of each in here. And then I've got a cup of, or a can of fresh cut whole kernel corn, the sweet kind. Once again, doesn't matter what flavor you use or what brand. And my secret recipe today that I wanted to try, I got some wizard cocaine killer corn dye. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, this not only dyes the corn, but it gives it a super sweet scent that really attracts fish. So I was researching this and I ran across it the other day and I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on it, but I wanted to try it today just to see if I can have an advantage. And I'll let you know how it goes in the video. Um, there'll be a link to the product down in the description below, along with all my gear and stuff. If you want more details, click on those. It'll show you where you can get it, help support the channel. All right, guys, so like I said, I've got two cups mixed of just about both of these. I just want enough to soak up this corn and the juice. I put a tablespoon of this in the can of corn, stirred it in really good. As you can see, it's starting to turn the corn pink. It's getting that sweet dye scent in there. And I've let this set for about 30 or 40 minutes now. I'm going to pour this on in. Like so try to get all the kernels that I can and I'm just gonna stir this in real good and it's gonna make like a play-doh sit the camera there so you guys can see I'm gonna try to get it to where it's a good play-doh like consistency and I'm also gonna mix some jello powder in here I got strawberry scented I wanted to stick the corn in here first so I can see just how much more liquid I'm going to need to add to this so I can get that nice Play-Doh like consistency. All right, so we're still a little bit dry right now, but I've got the corn and the sweetener in there. All right, I'll be right back with the rest of the ingredients. All right, guys, so as a additional liquid I use some strawberry crush I saw this on uh, catfishingcarp.com this will help me get to the play-doh consistency that I'm looking for I've got about a half a bottle of it in there and I'm just gonna keep stirring once again I'm looking for play-doh consistency And in case you were wondering just how much of the jello mix I used uh, you didn't see me pour that in there but I only used about a half a cup that was just once again some more strawberry cherry like scent I've heard people use grape you know it just really depends on what you got laying around that's all I really do try to use some expired ingredients like the breadcrumbs so I could get a little bit cheaper but and there you have it guys See how I've got this thick
it's really starting to clump up, which is a good sign that it's ready to press into balls. And we will be using this to meet up with Shannon. And I'll see you out on the water, guys. Stay tuned. Dog bones ground up. And he's and got, got cereal on the hook. Kids pops and they're scented. Yep. With uh, butternut squash, right? Yep. Just ball it up on there and you're good to go. Gonna tell them how your tip ups work? Yeah, uh, the fish will pull your line and your rod will stand up when the fish runs with it. Maybe we can get one of them on video. Really hard to do though, some reason. Yeah, normally when they grab it, they take off. By the time you get the camera on, it's already whipping up in the air. <laughs> that one kind of scared me when it went. I wasn't expecting it to go that quick. Hey, yeah. How many views did your first video get when you came over here with us? I can't remember. I remember it pretty good. But yeah, we did this our... First time we met? First time, yeah. <laughs> first time I met Big Michael, we went fishing over at the Hunger Mother Park. We might get one fish for your video anyway. <laughs> Finally got hooked up. Hey, looks decent. Can we take a picture of it? Like it's ours. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> no monster, but he's decent, ain't it? Was that one on uh, breadcrumbs? Uh, grits, wasn't it? Well, at least we know there's one in there. <laughs> well, he give up when he got it from the bank. Ranger in it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Ace that handle. <laughs> All right, he's already skunking us now. Making us look bad. <laughs> hey, looky there. <laughs> he's on fire. I think he just invited me out here to show me up. That's what it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Buddy, I, I don't know what side he's on. Well, we're done right there, acting like it's going to take off, too. How far is yours out? Can I get over yours? Uh, yeah, go ahead, man. I'll reel it in. Don't worry about it. I'll just go over top of him here. Good. Bad thing about him. That one seemed like it's a nice one too. It left there. <laughs> he meant to go, didn't it? It was a ripping drag. That other one didn't. <laughs> oh yeah. It lost him. Oh man, it got loose. <laughs> got over in that big old hook. Got in that, yeah. I believe that's probably the biggest one I've ever had. In here. That was nice looking. I felt the hook pull through his lip. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's gone. Uh, well, that one there acted like it's about to take off too. So. Had a good fight, 
<laughs> that shocked me when the poor dead dragon went, <laughs> whoa now. I ain't used to that. I got that drag locked down tight as it go. Big dudes, right? Sun, going down, sun going down there, getting active, it seemed like. That's what I like to see, though. I like it when they leave, they leave. Yeah, when there's no doubt they really got it. <laughs> Felt his lip rip out. I know he was going. That's a heartbreaker. <laughs> oh, it looked good too. Get the tip up. I don't know if you guys can see, but you watch his line and it'll slowly take off. Hey, we'll have tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down two fish already. <laughs> that would be pretty fun though if we could get like a YouTube tournament, have like a little cheap trophy or something. Yeah. Kind of like uh, Patriot James does, a catfish tournament. I'd like to have been able to go do and done that, but. You gotta know somebody with a boat, so you ain't gonna do no good in the bank over there. Set it back down, didn't he? Got him? Nope. Kind of uh oh. Drag it too loose. I thought I had him. It's close. You started with him. Yep. When I set the hook, <laughs> the drag's pulled out too easy. I guess that's why I first in order to kick that for you. <laughs> I've been waiting. You ever seen a no row X smile? No. Three eighths ounce. Wow. I figured that'd be good rig. Oh, you got a two rig set up on it. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. That's pretty neat. That's Pay Lake rig. You got to watch, though, know, where you're fishing. If you're fishing where they stock trout in the trout stream, That's you illegal. can't use that until after the 15th of this month. I didn't know that one year, and Game Warden talked me on the shoulder and said, you might have cut one of them hooks off her. And I said, why is that, buddy? Turn around, this Game Warden. Okay, I'll cut that hook off her. <laughs> He was explaining to me why. <laughs> they will argue. There it goes. Boy, it's too sandy enough for him to grab it. I don't believe it's very big with the pull. Oh, Yeah, we got him. See what I thought about trying to catch him on the bite? You gotta. Oh. That's a turtle. Oh. <laughs> That's why he's a biting funny. That's a snapping turtle, I believe. Yeah, that's a snapper. <laughs> a big oh, one. It was a painted turtle. That's a John Brown snapper. But you ain't got no pliers, do you? Uh, yeah, I think I might in the car. <laughs> that's what's I been. Ain't getting that close to it. That's what's been playing with our bait. <laughs> he snapped yet, gentlemen, Will. He likes corn too. <laughs> corn pops. Trying his best to bite you. That's why I was telling you I didn't think it was a carp. <laughs> 